As a consultant rheumatologist, my role in treating people with the axial spondyloarthritis is firstly, of course, to make you feel better and remember that's what consultant rheumatologists need to do. But there are three elements in what we do. The first is to figure out what the cause of your symptoms is, to understand the diagnosis. It's not always one diagnosis. Sometimes there are several components to it, so it's not always just one thing. The second is to work out what the right ways of managing these problems that you have are, and there will be more than one, often. And the third way is then to discuss it with you to work out between us what seem the sensible options. It's a kind of negotiation, though not the kind of negotiation in which I ask you whether you want A or B. It's one where we have to figure out what suits you best and what's most likely to help you, whilst at the same time not upsetting you. Now, we've got a, a, a plan, a, a form of treatment that is set out very clearly for us by NICE, uh, and so we know the progression, generally speaking, but of course everybody's different, and some people can get away with almost no treatment, and some people will need a huge amount of treatment, and at different times in their disease course, people will need different things. The first medicine that most people will take is, will be a non-steroidal uh, anti-inflammatory drug, an NSAIDs. Now, some people would have taken one by buying something over-the-counter. There are over-the-counter NSAIDs, and some people already know whether these are quite helpful or not but there's a big range of NSAIDs available uh, and it's important that we find the right medicine for the right person. After two weeks or so, you really ought to be clear as to whether it's making a big difference or not. If you're not sure whether it's making a difference, it's not making enough of a difference. And at that point, um, if it's not making enough difference to the way you feel, we would suggest moving to a different NSAID, uh, perhaps of a different class, to see what benefit there is. If you've taken two or more different NSAIDs and they're not sufficiently helpful, then we've got to move on to another class of drugs altogether, and that will be the biologic drugs. My rheumatologist suggested that I, was, I would start an NSAID. Um, we tried it for a couple of months, realized it wasn't having any effect whatsoever. We tried a second NSAID for another couple of months, realized it was having a little bit of effect, but not really enough to satisfy the rheumatologist. And it was around five or six months in, in total since diagnosis that we tried a third NSAID. And it was only then that I started to see real benefit, relief, pain relief. I started on anti-inflammatories, which I gave to myself from over the counter. I did not go back to the GP because I didn't think there was any point. I didn't see what else could be done because that is what I was told. By the time I got to my late 30s I was then again in a position where I could hardly walk and I went back to the GP and I was referred then to another rheumatologist who happened to be an expert in axial spondyloarthritis and from that moment on my treatment changed. So I started with more anti-inflammatories, a different anti-inflammatory to see if that worked but I was still in a lot of pain so the next stage was to start the biologics. After around a year of diagnosis um, and trying several NSAIDs uh, we took the decision together myself and my rheumatologist that we would need biological therapy.